Alright guys, welcome back. I'm with Julie, one of the original 25 Magic the Gathering artists. And we have Amber from Array Art Conservation. I got it right. And this is a video about, well, a different uh, situation. Uh, we have, this is a famous piece. It's called the Termagoyf. Uh, it's upside down, but it's okay. I'll go there in a minute. It's from Ultimate Masters 2018 by Philippe Berberne from Croatia. Philippe, if you're watching this, I love your art. But the reason why I'm bringing it in because I love maintaining the art and its integrity. So Amber has been brought in as an expert. Uh, Amber, talk about smokiness and how does that affect it? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I guess besides the obvious odor, um, sometimes there's a residue that's left behind. Um, mm. It depends on how they've been stored. So that's a variable that isn't necessarily detectable by your nose. Um, what, what do you mean by that? Because I just got them in the mail. Uh, you mean? Well, wh whoever created them and how did they store them? Were they in oh. a portfolio or were they sitting on an easel while they easel. smoking? You know. Yeah. Uh, so easel, it's a difference. Easel is correct. Yes. Okay. Well, even all of these and how long were they sitting out just on the table while somebody was smoking? So I'm not sure how much residue versus just how much smell. Hmm. So obviously there's a, a, a huge smell. Uh, Philippe, uh, I don't know what kind of cigarettes you smoke. But smoking is bad. Smoking is bad for you. Do you hear me? <laughs> smoking is bad. We all agree that smoking is bad. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There we go. All right. There you go. All right. So, uh, so in your experience, Amber, what do you do in this situation? Like, what, 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 what are the tests, tests you would do here? Well, I don't even necessarily do any testing because you know for certain that you need to mitigate the smell. So what I would do is just what do a, a weird surface phone ring. cleaning. <laughs> what is that? It's a baby shark song. Oh, sure yeah. I was like, is that baby shark or is that a minion? Like that. Yeah, she has a four-year-old, so she calls baby shark plays. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amber. That's okay. okay. I'll go back. Moments of humor detracting. <laughs> uh, I would do a light surface cleaning to try and remove any residue that's possible with the chem wipe sponges and it's a dry cleaning process. And then I would use an ozone to filter out the smell. For each item? Yes. Now, does this mean that the, okay, so the smell, like when you frame it, Julie, it doesn't smell anymore, right? Typically smoke doesn't go through right. through the framing. Is, right. is that, okay. So I'm not really about, worried about the smell. Mm -hmm. uh, me as a collector, I'm more worried about is this thing going to fall apart one day. So talk about chemistry. What happens with like these, like so you have sketches here, you have the color study, and you have the original paint, which is oils on a board. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of yellowing here. I don't know what that's going on there. That could just be from the, tape. the surface coating. And also, could, so paper is different than paint, obviously. Um, but... I guess residue can affect the surfaces of paintings. Well, they're both different, but it can definitely stick to the surfaces of a painting in ways that it won't to paper. And paper can absorb in a completely different way. Right. They're and just, it's two different things. And I do know additionally with, um, if he, for example, if he coated this with either a Damar or a Gam Var, Gam Var is a varnish, um, uh, usually, and that's meant to, actually varnishes are meant to be a protectant of mm -hmm. the uh, of the oils right, if he's so using they can oil be paint. So it can be removed and replaced with mm -hmm. a clean varnish, which will remove the smell, the smoke, the dirt, the, the yellow, all dirt. that. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. um, so a lot of times, if you've got something like this that maybe has a yellow sheen to it, because the uh, it's not the artwork per se that's yellow; mm -hmm. it's the varnish that is yellow. And based on what kind of varnish was used, as long as the varnish is not bound into the, the paint, paint itself, paint. which some artists do use, mm -hmm. like especially with Damar, some of the varnish do actually use it as a medium. As a medium, that's harder to clean. But if it's a if it's something like that, I know she can. It's like a no brainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do it. Amber, so if you didn't uh, treat uh, this painting or these these sketches painting. With um, what you know, the process you're going to do. What happens to items that are smoky? Smoke. They just continue to be such. Um, they just the smell obviously is there, but does mm -hmm. anything affect the art? That's well, the question. They're going to continue to off gas even in a frame situation. Mm -hmm. mm. And the carbon base bonds to the other carbon, so 
not. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, but you're so. It's not going to go away. So uh, Amber is a chemist. So basically, carbon is what's going on here. Carbon isn't really necessarily acidic. No. It's Got it. Okay. So until there's hydrogens or oxygen and hydrogens. So basically, like these sketches, uh, we're going to map these and such um, over like the course of time. Just a typical yellowing, you know, with light or you know mm -hmm. whatever will occur, you know, naturally. Mm -hmm. um, how about the oil paint? Uh, oil. Does, so so smoke doesn't affect it really. It does. Saying. Oh, yes. it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can bond into the varnish. And break it down or? Not break it down, just to bond to it. I got you. So, so okay. So when you say. It's not making it more acidic or. Right. You know. So when I'm but, saying affected, it's not like the the mock sapphire and time walk where, like the sapphire where it can literally break down or change color to green. Exactly. Okay. So it's different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, I guess. But at what, the same time for paper, it can be different where if you have a carbon that's bonded onto this, then it gets wet and then it bonds to that carbon molecule and you have carbonic acid and then it is making acids. But with the painting, it wouldn't do that. Right. But with the those, you could? The, with the painting, it wouldn't, but with the paper, it could. With the paper, it could. Okay. All right. So what's the uh, the the uh, the solution here in your in? So what would you? So what? So what's next steps in your eyes? So as I mentioned, I would do um, maybe it was the other pieces I was talking about. I would do the dry chemical cleaning and re remove from back sides as best possible. But because there's graphite, I wouldn't want to touch the fronts of them as much. Except I just want to bring up that on some of these. Uh, this one not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, right, the back. Some of them relative. actually has <laughs> drawings mm -hmm. on the back side. Oh, I didn't know that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like a drawing of a drawing. Yeah, okay. so there's. Um, so I would have to test the dry chemical sponge just to make sure it's but not it's going to act as an eraser no. as well. Yeah, some of them he drew like this one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So. Um, so so you said you said it's a dry cleaning effect. Can you exactly. explain what that what you mean? Like what is this? It's like a. a Say you have a kitchen sponge, but it's not a kitchen sponge, but then it has a uh, dry chemical in it, doesn't leave anything behind, doesn't pick anything up other than soot or uh, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, ah, and you just do the backs? Yes. Okay. I would, I wouldn't, not on a graphite. Graphite could really affect, yeah. Yeah. And then, but for the painting, it's, you could do the front? You, yeah, you would do a, probably a varnish removal or just clean the surface of it and see where you get with that. That's okay. You start the least invasive and then work upward. And then as far as the smell goes, I would use an ozone machine to neutralize the smell. What is an ozone machine? Uh, it's O3, three oxygens. Is it so? What does it look like? Is it like a like a it's microwave? A box. A box. Yeah. Do you put it in the box? Mm, no, you have to have a structure to put it in. Oh, and or then you, you can put it in a room by itself with the machine. You leave it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. For how long? Uh, I would probably do several hours. Okay. It and so, on the so level. explain the chemical. You have O three. So, what what is it doing to remove the smoke? It's bonding to the carbons. So Got this it. is the same thing as the hydrogen doing carbonic acid because of the carbons that are left behind. You would be doing the reverse of that. So, okay, so chemically you're trying to take... Take the carbons out. Ah, interesting. And then does it uh, suck away through the... What, what is it doing? Is it pushing it out or... Yeah. Okay, got it. Interesting. Just neutralizing. Neutralizing it. it. Rebonding and dissipating. This is very, this is very, very interesting. Julie, Chemistry. this you is very know. interesting. So, so, nobody ever knows what I'm talking about. I don't even know what you're, I, I still don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to look this up here later. Well, it's funny. You know, <laughs> science class, and then, you know, I'm an artist. This is yeah, stupid. Yeah. And then you get to a certain point where you're like, oh my God, this is so fascinating. I need to know very that fascinating. all matter. So, yeah. Okay, and cool. So, matters. so, um, so basically it looks like this one doesn't look that as difficult as it seems. Correct. This one seems okay. Very normal it's process. Not manual demounting tape. It's right, and those ones tend to be your harder projects. The ones you have to actually take them off a it, surface. Yeah, that yeah. Is, that would be more, more of the detailed. Aspects. Scary in a way, like if you do it, you well, know. You yeah, you do it in a right way. Slow. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Sounds scary. You don't <laughs> yeah, you take a coffee break and come back if you need. Right. Got or it. No coffee all day. <laughs> actually. So when this is all done, we'll do a follow up later. Uh, smell. What do you think? Do you think the smell will go away from all this process, from your experience? Yes, it would definitely be neutralized. Yeah. I think really? The only time we've ever wow. have seen that we thought we might have a problem was when there was a piece that was brought in that not only had a combination of 
smoke smell, but it also had mold. Mm -hmm. And that is a mold really is bad mix. Mold? Uh, An art? Yeah, mold. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, we all know mold in anything is bad, but it was a there was a piece that was on a canvas, mm -hmm. and the smoke smell was embedded into it, but also uh, mold. Mm -hmm. And over years and years, it was like years and years worth, and the woman's like, can you get rid of the smell? And we were like, Ugh. I, you're like, it's Hmm. We might be able to cut it down, but mm -hmm. it's going to off gas. It was so embedded to in the fibers of the canvas that it was almost impossible to get rid of completely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would have just... Wow. And so we told the woman, because she's like, she also had a budget. <laughs> so we were like, uh, and she's like, okay, I think I'm just yeah. going to have to live with the smell. Philippe, stop smoking cigarettes, or that's what will happen this year. All right, guys. All right, Philippe, we know you love, we love your art, but uh, this is a very interesting experience. Guys, I hope you guys learned something. Amber, thanks for your time. Julie, thank you. And if you guys are interested, again, it's rayartconservation.com and mainframe, Seattle mainframe, Seattle mainframe.com. Mainframe. Mainframe. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.